so this is my four by six in ground bed um as you can see weeds everywhere <laughs> so in this first area i actually have um shishito peppers i've already harvested one batch from these plants these are my first peppers to produce um pretty decently already uh this early in the season they all ha at least have one pepper on them and then here i have a big old carrot bloom they smell like baby powder they're very pretty and cute these are just the side flowers the main head is very large and even the side shoot flowers have side shoot flowers so we're gonna have plenty of carrot seeds to go around <clears throat> Back in this area is our my acorn squash. There's a little one hanging here. But we have this big old guy right here. Almost ready. Um, the vine hasn't hardened off yet. And then we also have another little guy. We have plenty of beautiful cherry tomatoes in all different um, stages of freshness. They're very delicious. Oh, the tomato popped off. I also have indigo kumquats. I get at least a few of those a day as well. So this is the tomato trellis. As you can see, we are just packed out with plenty of little cherries. I need to come out and harvest actually. And these guys are just starting to climb up the gazebo. Um, I plan to trellis them all the way across because on this side in the 10 by 10 raised bed, we also have very prolific um, tomatoes, both cherries and heirlooms. Like these are the tie-dye tomatoes. And I plan on trellising these guys to meet this part of the gazebo to come up and across. So these guys bloom in such massive clusters for being actual tomatoes. <laughs> And I also get a couple of those every day. And then over here, I just have a standard red slicer. Um, I grew these from seed from 99 cent store tomatoes. So um, I'm sure they are a hybrid variety, but I'm not sure which. And then we also have tomatillos. Um, I have harvested quite a few. Here's one that's ready. So when they're ready, they will look like this. You'll see the green or the purple flesh, and then you can peel back the little paper layer. Um, they ripen from the ground up, so the ones closest to the ground will ripen first, just like tomatoes. And then in this bed, so this is about a four by three raised bed. Um, I have pineapple tomato in here, so these are an heirloom variety with cat face flowers. Um, I also have Cherokee purple, but we're having a blossom end rot problem. This is the only tomato I have that has blossom end rot, so hopefully we'll at least get a couple good ones because these guys down here look fine. And then I have the determinant tomato variety. I believe this is Tiny Tom, so those tomatoes are about this big. Um, I have another of the kumquat, uh, green bell pepper. Um, this is a yellow brandy wine that's not doing so hot. Um, I do have more brandy wines um, in the other part of the garden that are doing much better. 
loves eating grass. Um, have some more here. And my dill is blooming. Um, this kale has been um, attacked by cabbage butterfly and caterpillars. Oh, bad. The lettuce has also um, gone to seed, so once that drops all its seeds, I'll go ahead and pull it out. And it looks like we have two little sun gold tomatoes here. I'm gonna have these right now. Oh no, I dropped one. <laughs> sun golds usually aren't this small, but that plant um, has been particularly struggling lately. And then over here, we have our corn that is just now putting out um, its silks. So hopefully those do all right. We have some more. Um, I believe these are also some gold over here. Purple curly kale, which is amazing in massage kale salad alongside the, um, a Tuscan or a dinosaur kale you're in for a treat and then this is another pineapple tomato that has been like oddly slow to develop it's been planted since probably oh february or march um i do need to transplant out these candy onions and then these leek seeds i started are not doing so hot and then over here i have more acorn squash I don't think we have any squash over here. Oh, here's one. This looks more like a calabasa squash. Um, so I'm thinking maybe a neighbor's um, plant caused a cross pollination here. Um, because the leaves on this one actually look more like a zucchini leaf. I don't know what's going on here. I think this might be a zucchini that cross pollinated with <laughs> um, an acorn squash. Weird. Um, and then here I have a jalapeno, one little jalapeno. <laughs> and then here is the broccolini field. <laughs> I'm waiting for um, the pods to dry up so I can collect the seeds. So the carrots in this container are very much uh, ready to harvest. They're all starting to pop out and show themselves. I ate two from here the other day and they were awesome. This is a daikon radish. My ranunculus is already toast. Um, and then here I'm rooting some, uh, what are these, geranium. And then the asparagus has just really taken off. Um, we're not going to get any to pick this year or next year. This is my bronco uh, grapefruit tree. She looks very gorgeous. And then back here, this is in probably seven by seven by two or three um, foot raised bed. I have some tomato back here, so a little kales these are just green curly kale some dill i snuck in asparagus back there it's another dill this is more of a flat leaf variety of kale but it's getting pretty torn up and then we have jessica's uh apple mint i believe this is and a beautiful ginger mint and then we have little marigolds um all the marigolds and the kale were grown from seed. Um, here is another uh, tomato jungle. I need to figure out a staking situation because this guy is about six feet tall now. <laughs> and um, this stake is not holding up quite well. Oh no. This one actually fell over, so I need to come and tie this guy back up before that stem snaps. 
but here is the brandy wine. Um, so this is a potato leaf variety of tomato. So if you take a look at this leaf here, um, compared to these tomato leaves over here, you can see quite the difference there. So this is also a nice heirloom variety. So hopefully those do well. And then here I have endive. And I did not know endive had such a gorgeous little bloom like that. So I'm gonna let the endive go to seed and then this is just packed in with radishes down here. And then down in between the tomatoes is just some nice little beets. I believe those are the Detroit beets. But I'm gonna come over to tie these tomatoes back up. Here are some of the shishito peppers I harvested. Shishitos are amazing, roasted just with oil and like salt and pepper. We also have some purple tomatillos. Which are very pretty. Also, green tomatillos. As well as a red slicer tomato. This is here it is an heirloom tie-dye. And then some cherries. Then I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some more tomatoes. And then this is my coriander seed harvest from only like four plants of cilantro. I got probably a year's worth of coriander 